Good morning. My name is Vamsi Pamela, and I'll present RT-PCR for SARS-CoV-2 on a digital microfluidic platform, which can also perform a number of other types of assays, helping to maximize diagnostic yield. Let me first start with our mission at Babies, which is to save lives and make lives better for all by bringing new technologies, new tests, and new hope to parents and healthcare professionals worldwide. This is not a British spelling for babies. We believe that everyone, that is what the extra E stands for in babies, everyone deserves a healthy start, regardless of their background or where they are from. We started babies in 2014, right after selling our previous company to Illumina, raised over $41 million, obtained FDA clearance for our newborn screening product, Seeker, launched a CLIA lab to provide second tier testing services for newborn screening, and recently launched Finder, our near patient IVD product. We have 100 employees and a fourth have PhDs in, in various disciplines. We shipped over 10 million tests. Our core technology is digital microfluidics. It is a method to programmably manipulate droplets of liquid using electric fields to change its surface tension. Our fundamental technology is protected by over 500 patents worldwide. We also have over 100 peer-reviewed publications and conference presentations on our digital microfluidics work, outlining the core technology, assays, and clinical studies. Here in the video on the left, you see a microliter-sized droplet that is dispensed into a 100 nanoliter droplet by just turning electrodes on and off. This is essentially an electronic pump with no moving parts. In the middle video, you see two microliter sized droplets mixing just within a couple of seconds. In the video on the right, you, see, you can see washing of magnetic beads through serial dilutions with droplets. Washing is a building block for immunoassays and molecular sample preparation. All these droplet operations are performed with just a circuit board controlling the voltages applied to the electrodes. This greatly simplifies our instrument because no mechanical pumps, valves, or tubes are required for liquid handling. By building heaters and sensors onto the disposable digital microfluidic cartridge, combined with low reaction volumes, we are able to perform ultra rapid thermal cycling for PCR. In the top right video, you can see how PCR is done rapidly within minutes by shuttling droplets between two thermal zones, one set up for denaturing and another for extension. Standard assay protocols such as PCR and magnetic bead preparation can be combined to be performed very rapidly on a digital microfluidic platform. A simple droplet operation such as transport can be built into a complex droplet operation such as thermocycling, which can then be employed in a PCR assay in a system that is designed for a specific use case. And that is how the digital microfluidics paradigm works by building complex systems using the simple droplet operations. First, let me present our work in newborn screening. 140 million babies are born worldwide and over 100 million of them do not get newborn screening, denying these babies a healthy start. And even those that do, such as the 4 million babies born here in the US, are only screened for about 30 conditions, while there are hundreds of rare disorders that can be effectively treated if identified at birth. We developed Seeker using digital microfluidics technology to provide rapid and easy screening for Pompe, MPS1, Gauche, and Fabre diseases, which comprise lysosomal storage disorders. The video shows performance of multiple enzymatic assays on the same cartridge. We shipped over 10 million tests with 3 million tests shipped just in the last 12 months. Every seventh baby born in the US gets tested on our FDA cleared seeker, providing a healthy start for all these babies. I 
Another area of focus for us is neonatal and pediatric diagnostics. More than 10% of US newborns are admitted to neonatal intensive care units where they are evaluated using tests that are intended for adults, requiring large sample volumes, leading to insufficient testing, therapeutic errors, and readmissions. A full-term newborn normally has 240 milliliters of blood, while an extreme low birth weight newborn has only 50 ml. Average iatrogenic blood loss per week from just testing is 11 to 22 ml. Majority of daily blood loss is attributed to blood draws for diagnostic testing. 90% of the ELBW infants and 58% premature infants receive red blood cell transfusions. In extreme cases, the cumulative blood loss for lab testing can equal or exceed the circulating blood volume of an extreme low birth weight infant. Neonatologists cannot always run all the tests they would like to because of the sample volume limitations. And this is where Finder comes into picture. Normally, diagnostics designed for adults are repurposed for pediatric applications, but Finder is designed ground up around the particular needs of babies and children. Finder uses digital microfluidics and known chemistries in a droplet format. We have demonstrated multiple types of assays, such as molecular, immunoassay, and chemistry assays on the same cartridge. The primary component within the instrument is a circuit board because all liquid handling is electronic pumping. We also have a commercial mini tablet running Android, opening up the possibility of running apps and everything else that a tablet has to offer. This instrument has two fluorimeters and one full spectrum absorbance spectrometer. Cartridges are made with printed circuit boards, those ubiquitous green boards that you see in all electronics and rest is plastics. Reagents are preloaded and dried on the cartridge. Finder also was the 2020 Disruptive Technology Award winner at AACC's annual meeting just a couple of months ago. This cartridge shows assays that are normally performed for jaundice. You'll see a lot of action in this video. A drop of blood is loaded into the cartridge, which then prepares plasma. We run colorimetric dye binding assays for total bilirubin and albumin using plasma generated on the cartridge. For G6PD, we lyse whole blood in the same cartridge with multiple dilutions to measure enzymatic activity as a fluorimetric rate kinetic assay. Normally, it takes two milliliters of whole blood to perform these tests. And Finder, currently in review at FDA, requires only 50 microliters of sample as input. With the addition of heaters and sensors to the same cartridge, we have performed ultra rapid PCR for congenital cytomegalovirus from newborn saliva, which was completed within five minutes. One in 150 newborns have congenital CMV with 15% of them developing hearing loss, which is preventable through screening. But with the onset of COVID-19 and the need for rapid diagnostics, we have expanded the functionality of our CMV cartridge to detect SARS-CoV-2 virus. As shown in this video, we have integrated more functionality such as concentration of magnetic beads, carrying nucleic acids, magnetic bead washing, RNA elution, reverse transcription, and PCR with all the reagents on board on the same cartridge. These, all these steps are completed within 17 minutes. This cartridge performs RT-PCR and magnetic bead prep, which are both considered a gold standard for molecular diagnostics. Note that this is a typical PCR amplification curve on the left side, but with, a, with time, not cycle number on x-axis. I wanted to show that PCR for some positives is complete as early as three, within three minutes. And including all the samples, including the negatives also, PCR is complete within seven minutes. 
Our target here is N1, which is the same as that of CDC's assay, and in silico analysis shows no cross-reactivity with the UK and South Africa variants. In our preliminary clinical evaluation, PPA is found to be greater than 97% and NPA is greater than 99%. Limit of detection is about 1.5 TCID 50 per ml. Precision across multiple instruments is also very good. FDA EUA submission is in process and a CLIA waiver application will soon follow. Additionally, we are also working on a number of other assay panels which maximize the diagnostic yield from a small sample volume. The various combinations of chemistry, molecular, immune assays, and hematological assays on different types of samples, such as viral transport medium, blood, saliva, urine, and meconium, shown here, are all performed on the same cartridge, each with different reagents and different droplet traffic routes, and all on the same instrument platform. All assays are miniaturized versions of standard lab chemistries, and therefore we see similar performance to laboratory methods, but using microliters of sample compared to milliliters, and finished completing the assays in minutes compared to hours, both of which help maximize the diagnostic yield from small sample volumes. We have a robust R&D pipeline funded by NIH and a number of research collaborations established to support clinical testing. We also have a growing network of global distributors and a number of public health lab customers testing one in seven babies born just in the US with our products. In conclusion, in addition to ultra rapid RT-PCR for SARS-CoV-2, our low sample volume multifunctional platform enables healthcare professionals to make faster decisions for their patients because everyone deserves a healthy start and needs to stay that way. Thank you.